Good evening, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Brief and Weather Forecast. Work is hosting a Jobs Cayman registration event for Caymanian college graduates and current college students. Now those with last names beginning with the letters A through K attended today, while those with last names starting with the letters L through Z are invited to the Marriott on Wednesday, November 18th from 9 in the morning to 4 p.m. in the afternoon if they're looking for employment or internship opportunities. This is a way for them to connect with employment opportunities and we want to make it personable. We want to have that personalized service today. Uh, so we will walk someone right through all the steps from the first stages of registration all the way to the end. So by the time they leave here today, they're able to apply for jobs. They can go in and see the jobs that are available and start applying for jobs. We also want to get some information about areas that they are actually majoring in. You know, what are they coming back? What degrees are they coming back with? Attendees must take a valid photo ID, birth certificate, proof of citizenship, and a current resume, which are the required documents. Now, for more details on this opportunity, you can follow work on Facebook, email them on work.training at gov.ky, or simply give them a call in 244-4048. Speaking of students, the University College of the Cayman Islands is accepting online applications for the 2021 spring semester. December 4th is the deadline for students to submit their online applications, while January 4th to the 8th in-person registration for current students will take place with classes starting on January the 11th. UCCI President and CEO Dr. Stacy McAfee says, quote, UCCI students are positioned to refresh their skills, renew their goals, and spring into action in the new year, end quote. Now, students are encouraged to visit ucci.edu.ky for details on how to complete their respective applications and or registrations, as well as to view UCCI's spring 2021 class schedule for a full listing of classes. Now, the Department of Environmental Health, or DEH, started its annual bulk waste removal activity yesterday, and it will continue through Monday, the 21st of December. Now, DEH wishes to remind the community that derelict vehicles and construction and demolition debris are not considered bulk waste and will not be collected as part of this campaign. The DEH is asking residents to have their bulk waste ready for pickup during the scheduled dates in their neighborhoods. To find out what those dates are, you can go online to deh.gov.ky. The bulk waste pickups are actually happening on Grand Cayman as well as Kim and Brack. Moving now to today's weather forecast, the high temperature reached uh, 89 degrees, the low 76. The forecast calls for partly cloudy skies with a 40% chance of showers and possible thunder. Winds are from the east to northeast, 10 to 15 knots. Seas are rough with wave heights of 4 to 6 feet with possible 2 to 4 feet swells affecting the southeast coast. Now a marine warning also remains in effect. The synopsis calls for moderate northeasterly winds and rough seas which will continue across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours as Hurricane Ayata continues westward across northern Nicaragua. Now radar images show isolated showers mainly south and west of Grand Cayman which are continuing to move towards the west. Remember for the latest in weather you can go online to weather.gov.ky or simply download their app C-I-N-W-S. And that ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Have a safe and wonderful night. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News update first at 6 p.m.